Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about normal or Gaussian distribution. In this class, we are going to have a graphical intuition about Gaussian or normal distribution. This graphical intuition is very, very important to understand our coming classes. In our previous class, we already discussed about continuous probability distribution. So what's continuous probability distribution? The graphical intuition provided in our previous class. Please watch that class and come back here. And it is very, very important distribution, normal distribution. 80% of the times we are going to use this distribution. So please concentrate. So please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's try to understand the graphical intuition of normal distribution with an example. It is a continuous probability distribution. So what's continuous probability distribution discussed previously? 80% of the real life examples fits to this normal distribution. We call it as Gaussian distribution normal or Gaussian distribution. Now let's take an example and understand what's a normal distribution. If you take the heights of the students, yes, it is a continuous probability di distribution because uh, see heights of the students, the height of the student may be 5.4, 5.401, 4.5. It's his height may be any value between five and six. 5 feet and 6 feet if uh, if the uh, so, so that's why that's why this goes to continuous probability distribution okay and one more point uh, with this example you will get clarity total 100 students are there we are taking total 100 students so 5.4 to 5.5 5 students are there 5.5 to 5.6 10 students are there 5.6 to 5.7 15 students are there 5.7 to 5.8 20 similarly 20, 20 50 this is what our data says this is what our data says if you plot this data on the x-axis we are taking heights of the students 5.4 5.5 5.6 .5, and all those values on the y-axis we are taking number of students frequency uh, uh, number of students or frequency of the students uh, so uh, frequency of the students means you can take the probability values also on the y-axis no need to take frequency you can take probability values uh, both are equal this is the point we discussed when we discussed about uh, probability distribution functions uh, frequency means uh, so number of students 5.4 to 5.5 how many are there five students are there if you convert it into probability 5 by 100 total 100 students what is that on the y-axis you can take 0.05 so anything you can consider on the y-axis if you plot it 5.4 to 5.5 5 students are there 5.5 to 5.6 10 students are there 5.6 to 5.7 15 students are there 5.7 to 5.8 20 students 5.8 to 5.9 20 students next 5.9 to 5.10 15 students 10 to 11 5, 5 to 10 students up to 6 total we are having 5 students if, if the data is distributed like this now you have to understand the point if 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 your data is distributed like this if you take a function which satisfies like this this type of function we call it as then if your data is distributed like this then we can apply normal distribution normal distribution is having a function which satisfies like this so what's that function how it is going to provide this line we are going to understand in our next classes here we are going to provide you the graphical intuition so this is a function this orange line is a function in our last class we discussed about continuous probability distribution means uh, the summation of uh, the summation of all the probability values is equal to 1 means our probability density function of normal distribution should satisfy the condition the area under this function should equal to 1 yes it is equal to 1 what's that function we are going to discuss in our next class so now you got a, based on the previous class and this class you should have some idea so our probabilities are distributed under this function means the area is giving the probability values this is the point you have to understand 
area this area is giving the probability value this area is giving the probability values so if our data takes this shape what's this shape this is the shape this shape we call it as bell shape if you if our data takes this shape then we can apply normal or gaussian distribution 80 percent of the data takes this type of shape that's why we go with normal distribution so uh, and one more point you have to understand from the basics uh, in our probability class in our probability playlist from in the beginning classes uh, we discussed about symmetric and asymmetric distributions uh, this normal distribution is a symmetric distribution see it's exactly both sides it is in the same shape uh, those we call it a symmetric distribution and the mean value comes at the center so these are the points which helps you a lot in understanding our coming classes and one more important point you have to understand here you may get some questions some of them will get questions so why we have taken 5.4 to 5.5 interval why not less intervals because here we have taken only 100 students so if you take more than 100 students suppose if you take 1000 students Yes, you can take small intervals 5.4 to 5.45 is one interval 5.45 to 5.5 is another interval. So that is why as the interval size decreases, see the, the function is exactly fitting to our distribution. This is the point you have to understand because in 1000 students, if you take 1000 students, uh, Yes, you, there is a, you, you can have the chances of 5.4 to 5.45 more number of students. That's why you can reduce the interval. If you take 10,000 students, you can still reduce the interval. Then this function exactly fit to this. So this point you have to understand. This is a continuous probability distribution. Your students may have any heights between 5 and, five and 6. It is not compulsory to have 5.4 to 5.6. For understanding purpose, our student height starts from 5.4 and ends at 6. It is not compulsory. So this is the point you have to understand. And now coming to this, uh, and one more thing, if the area under this should be one on the uh, y-axis, you can take frequency means number of students, or you can take it as probability values. So if you take this bell shaped, then we go with normal distribution. Hope you understand when we want to go with normal distribution. In our next classes, we are going to discuss about a probability density function of normal distribution, the graphical intuition, how it changes and all those things. If you have any, any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.